Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind-up, the Father's Day edition. Well, undoubtedly you've heard uh, last weekend, Dave Grohl, Foo Fighters frontman and all-around uh, king of badassery, uh, misjudged the stage, fell off, and literally broke his leg. So here's what happened, the quick and dirty of it all. Uh, he got rushed off to get cast. During that time, they kept the show going. Taylor Hawkins also doubles as a singer. He came up and they did a whole bunch of cover tunes. Dave came back, finished the show, from basically a, a wheelchair, and then they had to sadly cancel the rest of the European tour. Doctor said he's got to stay off of it. Now, what is kind of cool about all this, if you will call it that, is that a website got started called Sign Dave's Cast, and you can actually go to Twitter at uh, Sign Dave's Cast, and the top 300 tweets will actually be printed off and given to Dave, presumably for him to wear. Uh, Full disclosure, I did already sign up on it because I'm that much of a nerd. So, uh, you know, best to, to Dave Grohl and his speedy recovery. And as of now, I'm not hearing anything to affect the show at Sprint Center in August. If that changes, I'll make sure to let you know. Well, congratulations are in order to the Prince of Darkness, uh, 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 Ozzy, and his son Jack, as his wife Lisa. Jack and we, Lisa, welcome. Lisa welcomed in their second child into the world, Andy Rose Osborne, over the weekend. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was on Sunday that just passed. So, uh, congratulations. I guess that makes it a very special Father's Day coming up for both uh, Ozzy and for Jack. Couple of rockers this week announcing that they are tapped to work on a, a two new film projects. Slash going to be a producer for The Hell Within. Uh, this will be his second film outing, and the, the production for that will take place in January of the upcoming year. And then Rob Zombie turning a lot of heads this week when it was announced that he's tackled Steve Soler's memoir, Raised Eyebrows: My Years Inside Groucho's House. It's going to be a story about Groucho Marx. Now. You know, it, this could be one of those strange Hollywood tales that Zombie really, really enjoys. Um, it's definitely, uh, to, at least on paper, just seems kind of a, a, a different genre to tackle, considering everything he's done with, like, you know, Devil's Rejects, House of a Thousand Corpse, the Halloween reboot, and all that. So, should be interesting to see that. As soon as I get some dates on the, both of these when they are going to get released, I'll make sure to let you know. And time to close out your weekly rock wind up with. Uh, Saint Asonia, you've been hearing uh, the new jam from that, I guess you'd call it a super group. Adam Guntier from Three Days Grace, Mike Mishak from Stained, Corey Lowry, Stuck Mojo, Dark New Day, I Empire, blah, 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 blah. Uh, finally got a release date for their new album. It'll be July 31st. As you know, Better Place has been spinning pretty heavily uh, on the rock. I think you guys are digging it. Iron Maiden announcing their 16th studio album this week, 92 Minutes, The Book of Souls. It is actually the band's first ever double studio album that will be released in September on the 4th. Really looking forward to that. Huntress to release Static album in September on the 25th. Sammy Hagar, uh, also in September, going to be releasing Are We Having Any Fun Yet? The Cooking and Partying Handbook. The Red Rocker is at a party, isn't that about that? Uh, Dillinger Escape Plans, Greg Pucciato, the front man for them, uh, to release The Black Queen, the debut, Fever Daydream, late 2015, that was announced. Miss May I to release Deathless the, uh, in August on the 7th. And finally, Skindred to release Volume in October, as of right now, the day before Halloween on the 30th. I am Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock windup. Have a great weekend doing whatever it is that you do. Happy Father's Day to all your papas out there. Uh, if you're looking for something to do tomorrow on Saturday, I'll be at Helen's Hilltop emceeing uh, the Baca rally out there, the Baca fundraiser. It's a 10th annual fundraiser. Obviously, bikers against child abuse, big deal. And then that evening, my girls got a burlesque show at the uh, Buffalo Room backside of Westport Flea Market. Also, uh, Sunday, Father's Day, as I mentioned. Happy Father's Day, guys. Peace.